So, welcome back to Orchid House. Uh, I'm Olivier in Fort Lauderdale, and today I wanted to share with you some facts about my Catlea, uh, Catlea violacea. Uh, I bought this baby two years ago, exactly two years ago, from a Brazilian vendor. It was bare rooted and uh, it started growing roots, so it, it was the perfect time to mount it. Uh, it bloomed for the first time right now. Uh, these things bloom straight, so you have a new bulb that grows, and then it grows straight from the bulb. There is no sheath or anything. Many of these bifoliate cattleyas have either a green or a brown sheath, but this one just blooms right like that. Uh, so these are best mounted, that's what I did. Uh, they need a lot of heat, they are very warm growers. Uh, if it goes below 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius at night, I will bring it inside because it's sensitive to that. Uh, unlike many of the bifoliate species, it doesn't need any rest, it grows constantly. I mean, ever since I've been mounting this, it never stops growing. So it only bloomed now, but I mean, it was a division. I guess it needed to adjust to its new environment, but it, it's been very happy. So plenty of water year round, plenty of heat, uh, direct light, really. I mean, uh, these are uh, fairly easy to take care of. Uh, it's really one of the smallest uh, cattleya, uh, bifoliate cattleya. Um, I'm not sure if so if you're not familiar so there are two main types there's a third type the, the smaller ca uh, cattleya species but mostly you have the unifoliates and the, the bifoliates so the unifoliates are the ones with the very big flowers and they just have one leaf so hence unifoliate um, they are usually uh, purple yellow white uh, and then you have the bifoliates which have two leaves and sometimes even three like this one has this bulb has three leaves it's a little tough to see, these leaves are still very small. There's three of them. Uh, and those typically, not necessarily with this species, but typically they have uh, a lot more blooms than the unifoliate, but the blooms are smaller. They also ha are waxier and they have a, a, a firm texture. Again, this one is a bit of a uh, in between uh, both types in terms of, uh, of looks uh, of the flower. Now the bifoliates are very tricky to, uh, to repot and so I like to mount them all. So as soon as I, start, I see, I see um, uh, new uh, roots growing, that's when I mount them and so I don't have to worry about repotting them down the road. The only negative is that you have to water them all the time because I mean they, they don't like to have wet feet but at the same time they like to be wet a lot. Uh, so th that's, that's the negative part. So most of these Cattleya species, the bifoliates are from Brazil. This one has a much wider geographical distribution. Uh, like I said, it just bloomed for the first time. I'm thrilled. This is the Tipo, so which means it's this the standard color. There's many different types, uh, but that's always the look uh, that the flower has. So very happy with this girl. Uh, and before I let you go, just like my last uh, video, I just wanted to briefly show you my Stanopia, because in the meantime it opened. It's only been a few days, but these blooms opened. And uh, this is my Stanopia saccada with a deeply saccate uh, ipokine. You see, there's a very fat, orangey uh, bottom of the ipokine, and that's typical for this species. It's very fragrant. I am at a loss to describe the fragrance. Uh, I read cinnamon and orange. Honestly, I don't know. It might be closer to orange than cinnamon to me. But uh, so this is a first bloomer as well. And uh, like all Sanopes, the blooms are not going to last long, but they are so fantastic. And that's, you can smell it from a distance. So it's a very fragrant one. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget, uh, there's text translations in Spanish. Uh, French and Portuguese at the bottom of the video and uh, if you didn't understand everything I said in English the, There's also text in English. Thank you much. Bye